Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday to you. We know, we believe, we trust that today is the day that Jesus made and we will rejoice. And the word rejoice means have joy again. And we will have joy again in the Lord and be glad in it and be glad in him. Um, I was just thinking about um, June is almost over. It's coming to a close in a couple days. I think um, next week is going to be um, July. I think Monday is July 1. And so I just want to share my heart for a moment before we pray about the 4th of July. Many of you know, but some of you don't. Um, that on July 4th, 2020, Isaac had a grand mal seizure when we were leaving Yellowstone National Park on our way home, making our way back to California. And so we were in Idaho and it was one of the most scariest traumatic moments of our life. And um, ever since then, I'm trying not to cry, I, I, do, I dislike the 4th of July. And even by saying that, is huge for me because I used to say I hate it. I didn't want to hear fireworks. I didn't want to look at, you know, happy 4th of July. You know, we live near Euclid. There's a big parade. You know, anything and everything 4th of July related just brought me back to that really painful moment. When we got off the freeway, we went into some random parking lot. They were selling fireworks. And after they checked Isaac in, in the hospital, after our ambulance ride and our couple of hours of blood work and urine test and all this stuff, blood pressure, you know, they did the whole workup in Idaho. While we're driving home, Actually, we're driving to Utah because it's too far to drive the whole stretch. So we drive halfway while we were driving to the hotel. There was just fireworks going off everywhere. Utah loves fireworks. And it's just still very painful for me. I was trying not to cry, but as intercessors, we feel deeply, right? Anyway, uh, year one was really bad. I just wanted to sleep the whole day. 2021, I kept seeing 4th of July decorations. I was like, I don't want to remember that day. And then year two was a little bit easier and last year was a little bit easier. And so this 4th of July will be four years. And um, there's a lot of talk in the media, in the pulpit, in books, in blogs about trauma. And, you know, I, it's kind of, to me, it's played out. It's old. Like, I, I hate hearing about it because I think, gosh, Lord, you're our healer. You can heal, heal the pain of our past. You can heal our childhood pain. You can heal our, you know, whatever. If somebody's been divorced, you know, the agony and the pain of that, like you can heal anything. Now, it doesn't mean there's not going to be scar tissue. There will be scar tissue, but Jesus is our healer. But one of my beautiful friends um, said something that I was so thankful, you know, surround yourself with praying friends, with godly friends, with loving friends. I was sharing with her, you know, um, this was last year or two years ago. I said, 4th of July is coming and my heart is just so heavy and I'm trying to not think about it, but I just feel so sad. And, you know, um, cause it's a mile marker. It's, it's, you know, the mem like it was a day that changed our life, you guys, uh, in terms of epilepsy and neurology and anti-seizure meds and, you know, all of that. So anyway, um, my friend said and it's you know psych psychologically proven she said the brain remembers so even when I try hard to say it's just a date Lord it's the day our nation celebrates our freedom it's not I don't even have to say it's the day Isaac had a seizure it's just the 4th of July it's just a day but my friend reminded me she said but the brain remembers and so um 
I just wanted to share all that because, you know, the Lord has been really, really reminding me how fragile and frail and um, limited I am. How fragile and frail and limited you guys are. We're flesh. You know, we need water or we'll get dehydrated. We need food or we'll be malnourished. You know, many of us take medicine. You know, you might need to take a blood pressure pill or you might need to take certain vitamins or you might need, you know, fill in the blank. We all need things to help our bodies work at an optimal level. And even then they're breaking down. You know, I love that verse. The outward man is perishing, but the inner one, inner man is being renewed day by day. And so anyway, I just wanted to share that, you know, probably mainly for myself because it, <clears throat> it has been heavy on my heart that the fourth is coming and perhaps you all can remember me and remember Isaac and pray for our family, you know, and, and it's funny because I think it's Yay! mostly me, my husband and Olivia, they don't, they don't, you know, they're not bothered by the fourth as much as me. And, you know, my beautiful sister in Christ, Desiree, she says, you know, the enemy loves to give it a marker. Like, you know, I've had many clients in family law where, you know, I have one client in particular. Um, she was served divorce paperwork on Valentine's Day. You know, I had another client where you know, she was served a restraining order on her son's because birthday. You know, the enemy wants to ruin days and dates for us. So then we're like flustered and, and fragile and messed up because of a certain day on the calendar, right? But then I think of the cross. You know, we celebrate Good Friday. Even one time years ago, I said, Lord, why do we call it Good Friday? It's not good. It's the most bloodiest injustice, you know, you were murdered on Good Friday. It's not good. And the Lord says, but it is good because I bought you. You know, it's the day that the penalty of the sin of the world was purchased is Good Friday. It's right to call it good. You know, so anyway, I just, I have a lot of things on my mind and my heart. So I just wanted to unpack that. Thank you for listening. <laughs> I pray it encouraged you in one way or another. But um, G -G -G let's pray. G -G 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 Lord Jesus, I thank you for, I thank you for allowing us to share our hearts with each other and with you. I thank you, God, that you remember our frame. You remember that we're dust. I thank you, God, that you are the light of the world. Uh, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is, is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Lord, we don't have to have fear of certain dates on the calendar. We don't have to fear a dizzy spell, a report from the doctor, seizures, uh, you know, uh, money in the bank that's a low, you know. We don't have to fear these things, God. We, we fear you, the one who created heavens and the earth, the one who made our frame, Lord. And as my precious fr friend, um, Jeanette Thrasher, prayed the other day for, for us, um, Every one of us has a dash. We're all born and then we die. And every date in between, every part of our lifespan, of our journey, of our dash matters to you. Every tear is held in the bottle. Every memory in our memory bank, good or bad, horrible or elation joy is for your is for our good and even though we've been through things that we could say were traumatic or we've been through things that we can say were, you know, that was the worst day of my life or that was the best day of my life. We can trust in our sovereign God, you, God Almighty, that you do work all things together for our good, for those who love God and to, for those who are the called according to his purposes, Lord. And so the fabric of our life is going to be good because Yahweh is God. And so we just worship you. Yahweh is God. Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is Messiah. You are Jesus of Nazareth. You are the way, the truth, and the life. You are the true vine. You are the bridegroom. You are the light of the world, Jesus. You are um, our soon and coming King. Alpha and Omega. Beginning and the end. 
You're our battle fighter. You're the beautiful one, the holy one of Israel. You're our refuge. You're our ally, as I read this morning in the Psalms. The Lord is my ally and my refuge, my strong tower, my safe place, my comfort and comforter. You're the holy one. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. You're our Abba, our Father, our Father who is in heaven. Holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Oh God, we are desperate for manna. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, oh God. Because we're weak and frail and we do fall short every single day. So lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours, God, is the kingdom. Yours, God, is the glory. And yours, God, is the power forever and ever. Amen. God, I am so thankful that you're a powerful God. I lack, as it says in James, if any of you lacks wisdom, ask. Lord, I confess to you, I lack wisdom. I lack strength. I lack strength. I lack vitality. I lack durability. I lack um, all of these things and more, Father. And we together, praying together, we confess that we lack, Lord. And we're desperate for your in intervention and we're desperate for your help, Lord. You're a very present help in time of need. Jesus, thank you for being the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Thank you that um, you're our sure foundation. You're our rock. You're Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Forgive us of all of our sins of pride, stubbornness, selfishness, worry, doubt, anxieties, Lord. Like the scripture says, anxiety in the heart of man makes one sick, but a good word makes him glad. Lord, forgive us. Help us to cast our cares on you because you care for us, Lord. Whether it's our physical frailties, health, marriage, children, grandchildren, um, you know, doctor's appointments, court appointments, um, church ministry issues um you know whatever it is whatever it is we confess our lack and our sin and our frailties and we just cast everything at the foot of the cross lord thank you god that you hear our prayers lord they rise like incense before your throne we want to lift up the prodigals this morning god that we love so dearly we hold them close to our heart you hold them even closer still we pray that you would open up their eyes from darkness to light from lies to truth father for those in drugs alcohol porn transgender issues um you know do good issues they're trying to be like the elder brother and the prodigal son story doing good works but never knowing that we don't need to do a good work we receive the finished work of calvary so we pray for all of the prodigals you know them by name god we lift them all up to you and we say please please save now hosanna in the highest i lift up my sister in christ audrey benson as she's battling chemo right now holy spirit continue to keep the nausea away touch her body touch her mind touch her life may she not have to have one ounce of chemo more may she even have to be uh, blessed with being able to take less please god heal her completely from head to her from her head to her feet and restore the years the locusts have eaten god i pray for the marriages that are on the brink of, the, of divorce i pray that you would not allow satan's lies to advance any longer that you would help husbands to love and wives to respect i pray for all the vbs's going on around our nation god i pray for our church calvary P uh, pomona valley vbs i believe it's in july father i pray that you would uh, bless the servants i pray you would bring more servants i pray that you would just allow these children to soak in your grace and they would be like sponges and they would soak in all the truths of who you are through vbs and that they would grow and that they there would be a saving knowledge of you not just for the children but for the families of the children and for the servants father we know so many people they they were raised in the church and they know about you maybe they even know the bible front and back but they don't know you as lord and savior and king and messiah so i pray for the souls of those servants not just our church but all over this nation lord vbs is a precious time of the body of christ coming together to give out the gospel lord jesus i pray for the harvest crusade i pray for comfort for the reese family as they lost sharon 
and she's in your presence now. I pray for the Hoy family as Lance is in your presence now, God. I pray for all of those who have a little bit of respite right now, a little bit of rest before they go off to college or to the military or to whatever, God. Um, summer is kind of a, a transitional time, Lord, for many people, especially thinking on my daughter. She'll be going off to, to university in um, in August. Lord, it's been so hard on my heart. I don't want to see her go, but I know that this is the next chapter that you've chosen to bless her with. So guard my heart, God, and help me not to be uh, weepy and droopy and, and depressed, but be joyful and thankful, Lord, because this is what you've planned for her, and it is a good, beautiful plan. Protect her from the evil one. Protect her from false doctrine. Protect her from people that don't need to be one inch from her life. May you surround her with godly friends and, and teachers and mentors, God, and godly activities. And she wants to join the surf club. Please protect her when she goes out in the ocean. Please, please, God. And Father, as Isaac is off from school this week and the next, which is very, very difficult, I'm tired. I'm physically tired. Father, I love my son. He is a blessing, but just give me strength. Give me strength. Give me strength, please, in the name of Jesus, Yeshua. Be with my husband as he'll be sharing with the men this Saturday at the men's um, morning. Uh, Calvary Pomona Valley will be talking about the armor of God. Give him strength. Give him supernatural wisdom, Holy Spirit. Help us all to decrease and that you might increase. Lord, come quickly. We're tired, Lord. We want to see revival and we want to go to heaven. So have your way in each and every one of our lives, in our dealings, and in our interactions with people. Lord, we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Speedy. Yeah.